Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at a new product from the makers of one of the most popular grips for the Nintendo Switch, and those are the Rise Performance Thumb Grips from Satisfy. And real quick, if you're new here, make sure to subscribe so you can stay up to date on everything happening with the channel. And with that out of the way, let's get into it. So here are the Rise pads. As you can see, there are five different pads included in the box, uh, and there are also different versions of the Rise pads. I went with the Nintendo Switch option here, but there are options for PlayStation and Xbox, as well as the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. But each Rise pad pack is the same in that it comes with the same five thumb pad options in each box. As you can see on the back here, there's the notch pad, uh, with a standard height and then an extended height. There's one swivel pad, and then there are two wave pads with the same standard height and extended height as well. So let's get it opened up here and take a look. They come in this cool kind of like Altoids tin box almost with the Satisfy logo on the top there. And then when you open it up, you can see you've got the five different pads and those are the notch grips on the left there. Uh, the swivel pad in the center, and then the two different heights of the wave pad as well. Now, I know there are some other popular thumb pad options out there. I think Control Freak is kind of the big name that everyone goes to. I've personally never used those, just never really felt a need for it, but I have used thumb pads in the past on the Nintendo Switch. I've gone with kind of like the just standard silicone caps. I have some from Skull & Co that are on my Switch right now. They don't really do a whole lot, but I do find that they increase the height of the Joy-Con sticks just a little bit and feel just a little better to me with those on top but those are a relatively cheap option coming in like around ten dollars i believe but with the satisfy rise pads here that's definitely more of a premium option because these go for 39.99 for the entire pack so you're definitely paying a premium so let's see if that really ends up being worth it as far as performance goes so you can see with the notch pad just like the name suggests it has a notch on one side of it uh, that really makes for a perfect slot for your thumb to fit into, which I do find is very comfortable. Uh, it feels really natural and really prevents your thumb from slipping around on the top of the cap, kind of holds it in place there. And then these are the wave pads here with the standard height and taller height. And I do think these are an interesting option. They have a divot in the center, but then they're also kind of flared downward on the outside edge. So you can kind of manage the right stick while you have your finger on the face buttons. So I think that's a really cool detail. And I think the wave pad itself makes the most sense for the Nintendo Switch. I guess it you know makes sense for other options too, but with the Joy-Con specifically, those four face buttons are really close to that right stick. That's how I've found it to be the most useful personally. And then the swivel pad, again, as the name suggests, is a pad that has a swivel top, which creates a very interesting feeling. It allows your thumb to stay in one place without having to adjust slightly as you're rotating the stick in a full 360 degree. And while they do feel really great and they feel like a big step up from the standard Joy-Con top and some of the cheaper silicone thumb pads. You get that nice added height that gives you a little bit more accuracy, makes them feel a little closer to true full-size analog sticks, something that you'd find like on the Pro Controller. And they have that really nice grip texture on the top. I think it's clever. The grip texture is made out of the Satisfy logo, but I did find it really difficult to get the rise pads on my Joy-Con. At first I thought, oh, these are just too small. Like I just can't get it to work. I was a little worried that I was maybe going to tear into the rubber with the four plastic prongs on the bottom. But there is a video that Satisfy has on their YouTube channel that kind of guides you through the installation process. And rather than pressing them straight down onto the joystick, you're supposed to start with one side and then kind of work around but i have to say you know when i first started using it it was a little unnerving to be putting that much pressure on the joystick and i was definitely worried that i was going to tear into the rubber luckily i haven't had that issue 
And since using them a few times and leaving them on the Joy-Con for a little while, they do seem to have loosened up a little bit. So it's not quite as difficult to get them on and off, but it's definitely something I would urge you to exercise caution with when you're putting them on if you're worried about damaging your joysticks. And since I only have the Switch version here, I can't really speak to whether or not it's difficult on the other consoles as well. I assume that Satisfy is kind of prioritizing thumb caps remaining in place and not coming off during competitive play, but for me, they do seem just a little too tight. But once they're on there, they feel great, so if you like the feel of them and you can get them on there without any issue, then I don't really see a problem because you wouldn't be taking them on and off a bunch, but it's definitely something to be aware of. So we'll pop these on the switch here. And they do, they feel really nice. For me, the notch pad is really the one that I've gravitated towards for my left stick. It just feels really natural to angle that uh, notch to the left side, right where my thumb falls across there. It's a really nice grip. And again, you get that little bit of added height. So seems like a little bit more accurate as you're moving it around. But as far as my overall impression of these goes, you know, I'm a big fan of the Satisfy Grip. I picked up one of those as soon as they came out pretty much back when the Switch was still in its early days. And I do think that the grip really solved a problem that was very clear. The Switch in handheld mode just gets really uncomfortable after a while and the satisfied grip the zen grip makes it far more comfortable the asymmetric design also really works with that right stick since the face buttons are stacked above it so it was really just this elegant really well thought out very clear design that was just immediately obvious how it made the switch more comfortable uh, to use for long sessions while gaming i'm not sure that the rise pads are are quite on that level as far as a necessity for a switch owner. I do think that these maybe are a little bit more attractive for someone who's maybe doing a lot of competitive multiplayer uh, with first person shooters specifically, because I do think the swivel pad is very unique in that the top cap swivels completely. It does take some getting used to, to kind of anchor it in a certain position to where you can rotate it and keep your thumb in the exact same position, but it's not not something that I could really get used to using, you know, for platforming or just kind of standard 3D navigation, really. So at least for me, the swivel pad, I probably won't be using it that much. I do think it would maybe be nice if there was an option to not get all five pads. They are really well constructed and you can tell they are a premium product, but for some people, I'm sure preferences will be different and I imagine there'll be a pad or two that they just won't really ever use. So I think it would be cool if you could maybe mix and match just two pads of your liking and that would bring the price down a little bit because I do think the $39.99 price tag is a little steep, you know, you're talking about thumb pads here. They do feel really good, but there are options out there that are far less expensive. So I do think this is kind of going to be a niche product that addresses, you know, a very specific group of gamers who will find this worth the price, but they do definitely improve the feeling of the Joy-Con thumbsticks, which are a bit of a compromise for portability sake. They're pretty short in height, uh, which can be a little weird to get used to if you're coming from using a standard controller all the time. And the rise pads do really make them feel better. And they do feel especially good with the full grip setup as well, you know, throwing the Satisfy grip on there and the rise pads as well. Unfortunately, the Nintendo Switch OLED version of the Zen grip isn't available yet. They haven't shipped those out yet. So I wasn't able to test that with my Switch OLED, but I do have an older Switch that I was able to throw in one of the grips and throw the rise pads on there. And it really feels great. It's like a big step up in ergonomics and comfort and performance for handheld mode play. And I did also test putting it in some of the cases I have from Satisfy as well. If you have one of their grips, you know, and you're picking up these rise pads, you probably have one of their cases. I did find with the older model slim case that has the flat top, I think their newer ones have protrusions on the top to allow for thumb pads on the 
joysticks, but I did find with the slimmer case, with the rise pads on, putting that in there, I could get it closed, but you can definitely feel that the top of the case is pressing against the joysticks. It's probably putting a little bit of pressure on there. So that's something to keep in mind as well. But with the Elite cases that have, you know, more room on the top, I had no problem whatsoever getting it in there. There's plenty of room. So overall, I do think the Rise Pads are a solid product. They're really well constructed. They offer really great grip, but there's definitely some drawbacks as well. I think the price is a little high and the swivel pad just never really felt quite right to me. The notch pad and the wave pad though feel great, but I do think you also need to be pretty careful putting these on as they're very, very tight. Like I said, when I first went to put these on, I was concerned that I wouldn't be able to get them on at all uh, without doing some serious damage to the joysticks. Luckily that never happened. As I pull one off here, you can see that there will be some pretty obvious indentations on the top of the joystick where the rise pad attaches to. After leaving that off for a minute, it pretty much goes away. But I do think with repeated use of taking these on and off, you're probably going to cause a little bit of scuffing on the top of your joysticks. Obviously that won't really matter if you leave these thumb pads on for good. So those are just things to keep in mind. So all in all, a solid product. I think it's very obvious that Satisfy puts a lot of thought into their designs, but I just don't feel like this is quite as much of a home run as their grip has been. But uh, let me know down in the comments if this is something you'd be interested in. If you use thumb pads when you game, which thumb pad option you think would make the most sense for you. And I think that's going to do it. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like on your way out and also consider subscribing. And until the next video, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.